Hello and welcome to class and we are going to be taking the second section or the second module of this course and where the course is ArcGIS Basics. So we're going to be looking at the interface of the ArcGIS software. So when I say ArcGIS desktop, I'm referring to the Arc Catalog, I'm referring to the Arc Map, I'm referring to the Axim and I'm also referring to the Arc Globe. All right, so those are the four packages in ArcGIS. So we're going to be looking at the interface of them and a few things, what they can do. So we're starting with the Arc Map. So basically in Arc Map we have, this is how, not how when you install the software is going to look like, because I've added some things to it. Uh, but first and foremost, when you are on Arc Map or any of the Arc GIS software package of this desktop, you see this place that is, you see up here is showing more white than here. Here is looking more like uh, off white. So that's the place or any of this session, if you right click on it, it's going to bring out tools that you will add to this place. All right. So that is one thing that is very vital. We have the hydro tools and we have the draw, the editor and all that. So they are all within this place. Anytime you are not seeing any tools you're looking for, you just right click here and it's going to come out. All right. So in our GIS, Art map, we have the art data. Now, bringing in data into art map can be in several ways, just like I used to say, surveying and methods, a different route, but same destination. So if you click on this, it will take you to where you will be able to bring in any data. And your data has to be in a folder that is accepted by ArcGIS software. Now I will explain that when we come to folder connection and organization. All right, so this, I'm just going to show you how the interface and how this is going. So you can add your data here, shapefile, uh, Excel, uh, add any of the image, raster, vector, anything you can add using this plus sign here. And also, you can come to file and come to add data. If you click on this add data, it's the same thing as this. This from click on you with this one, you click here. But also here, when you click here, you have the add base map and add form online. But here has more. We have both the add base map, add data from ArcGIS online, add XY data specific you have a coordinate type in Excel sheet or uh, notepad as CSV you can bring in using here. You also have the route and uh, route event, uh, geocoding, you have the geocoding, geocode addresses and all that. So this is how you add data into the app GIS, yes, app map. Then we have the toolbox. The toolbox is where all the tools you need to use in Arc Map are. Whether Arc Map, Arc Desktop, Arc, Arc uh, Catalog, Arc, any of them has a toolbox. So when you click here, it, it takes time most of the times so when you are clicking for the first time after launch. All right. So um, let me also bring open up the other Arc. We have Arc Catalog, let's open that up. Then we have Arc Scene. Let's open that up and we have Arc Globe. So let's also open it while we are looking at this. So while that one is still loading the Arc Toolbox, we have the Arc Catalog, which uh, you can see basically, it shows that it's just for managing the data. We have a tutorial to explain how to use the app catalog. All right. So I'm just showing the interfaces. We have the file, we have the edit, view, go, and we have the geoprocessing. 
So uh, we have the uh, catalog tree, the folder connection, toolboxes too, just like I said, we also have it here. And then from app catalog, you can click to go to app map. That's what you're seeing here. So basically, this is all. We have the windows where we have the catalog tree and the search. We have the customize where we have its extension, toolbar, toolboxes. We have the 3D tools and all that. We have the uh, add in manager, catalog options. All of these are what you will see when you are using the ARC catalog. We have the raster, we have under the catalog option, we have the card, we have raster, we have general, we have file types and all that. So all of these we explore them more when we are using the ARC catalog in the tutorial. So we have the ARC globe, which has selection, due processing, you can do most of the things you do on that other environment, but most things you're doing here are 3D form. So we have the file and you're going to add the data just like everything is almost similar like the other ones but at the end of the day this is more focused on 3d we have the floating layer the draft layer and the elevation layer so they are focused more on 3d okay we also have the catalog tree here we also have the search tool and all that so as i said if you right click you see the tools also so any of them if you right click you see they are additional to animation 3D, uh, Globe 3D, uh, Graphics, KML, and the rest. So that's that for this. And then we have the Arc Scene, which is the 3D software where after you plot, let's say you have survey um, plan or you have a 3D, sorry, you have a, a, a coordinate of a, a survey you did for building. So those buildings, you can actually make them into a 3D using accents so we have the open which is you are going to open a document we have the new we have the save we have the print then add data as the same so all of these are just basics of how these appear and if you right click here you still see the tools you see that when we do globe it's brought us these same things like this because here the tools are minimal see the add toolboxes here as well so basically then you can also go back to catalog from this one. Then we have the model builder, which you use to build model. These things you are doing now, you can actually build the model and put them there. So all of these, these are just how the interface of this uh, four package or four softwares are in the desktop. So let's come back to ArcMap where our toolbox are open. So these are all the toolboxes in ArcMap. So each of them, this plus sign, anytime you see plus sign anywhere at all, as far as the ArcGIS package is concerned, this plus means there are other tools that you need to open. So you click on the plus, you will see other tools. Now, meaning there are other tools inside. So you click, you will see. If there are other tools inside this one, you also still see them. All right? So the more you click, you keep seeing the tools that are inside the tools. Okay? So basically, and then you can also access this when you come to catalog, this catalog here, and then you come to toolboxes, and then you come down to system toolbox. You see you have all of them. That's where all of them are hidden. All right, so assuming while you are working and then this create feature disappear, catalog disappear, and this disappeared. You can easily come to for uh, catalog, you come to Windows and then you see catalog to so bring it back. So you unpin it so that it can be like this. You click on Windows, you have table of content, which is this one. This can also disappear. So when you come to Windows, you click on table of content and then it will come back. But table of content it should be pinned so that it will remain like this. All right. So still under Windows, we have the search, which will come on pin it and then you'll be here. All right, so, and still on the windows we have, okay, for now. Then we have all this called customizers like CDO. You can customize toolboxes, just like the one you right click here. This is where it is in. So when you come to customize, you go to toolbox, you see all of those tools we just showed before. Then extensions. These extensions are like all the operations in ArcGIS. So we have the 3D analyst that more like the toolbox we see 
where the axe scan data inter interoperability, then we have the geostatistical analyst, network analyst. So all of this, if these are not checked, you won't be able to perform any of the tasks that has to do with, let's say you want to do network analysis, you cannot do network analysis when this is not checked. So you have to come and do that by going to customize and you go to extension. All right. So it's a bit, so all of these are on all the other packages as well. So um, I want to close this so that I can show you more things. Okay, so geoprocessing has all of these tools which we are going to be discussing in the future video. The buffer, clip, intersect, union, match, dissolve. Then search for tools, app toolbox as well. It's also inside here. Environment, result, model builder, Python, geoprocessing options. Then we have the selection, which I select by attribute, select by location, by graphics, and all that. So you can all do all of those selections. We have the inside where we have the data frame we have been explaining theoretically. So if I add like this, a data frame will be added. So I can add as many data frame. And like I was explaining in the previous video, uh, only result of one of the data frame will show. Like now we have two data frame here. Now the layer and the data frame are two data frame. So if I want result to show, if I bring in what I just brought in now, Let's say I bring in this card. Now it's going to display at this one that is showing black. All right. But well, if I want this to show, I have to right click and come and activate. Now, once I activate, since there's nothing here, it will not it say once it's showing black, meaning that's the uh, data frame that is active. So only one result of one data frame can show. All right. So uh, we have the view, which contains data view and layout view. Now, if you come down here, we have a data view and we have our layout view all right so layout view where we're producing the map data view where the work will be going so this will be making sense for you if you put uh, attention to what i've been saying on the previous video when i explained the theoretical frame you will understand now so we have the zoom and we have uh, the uh, tools for zooming of all categories we also have the new uh, open save print as I explained then we have the redo undo and all that so uh, we also have define tool we'll find anything that is we can't find easily you can find them using this we have the identify we have this we have the xy and all of that so basically these are all the things that you will find in ArcMap so I'm just introducing you into the um, Software. So let's try adding a few things and see what one of the things we can do. So uh, to kickstart the, 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 the training, one of the things that is paramount is organization of your work. So your work has to be as organized as possible. So you have to create one folder and make sure everything you're doing is in that folder. So if I go back to mine now, if I go to folder connection, you will see that there are four folders connected. These were connected as a result of some people who used my system, but the folder I'm having connected is this. The reason why I'm having two folders connected is that there are two drives in my system, drive D and drive C. So drive C contains where I do all my work. Now I back it up in drive D so that if anything happens, Drive D has a backup and Drive C has a backup. So I add the two of them together to interchange data most of the times. But all everything that has to do with GIS are in these two folders. So you can easily create a folder, just a normal folder, name it work, and then you put it on your local disk C, name it work. So when you add it, that's all. You don't have to uh, add any other thing again. So as I open, I'm going to just add something, let's say a root. So I'm adding this root. This root is not a root in Nigeria. It's a, it's a railway in the United Kingdom. So 
<coughs> I've added that. Now this is how you add data. And then we have the scale. We have, I think basically this is what you need. The rest, they are factored into the courses. So as we go on, you will see. So I have to go that basics to be able to explain everything to you as we proceed. So don't only watch the video for watching sake. You're here to learn. It's a challenge. So I want you to jot down things. When you write things down on a paper, you have a tendency to retain it more than when you just watch the visual and leave it. So please try to be writing down things as we go on this training. You write down things and then you practice later. All right, so basically this is the interface of the ArcGIS packages, ArcGIS desktop packages, which are the Arc Catalog, Arc Map, Arc Scene, Arc Globe. So I've introduced you into them. We will proceed further into this course, Arc GIS Basics. So we're going to look at furthermore in the next video. So stay tuned.